honestly, this was the most joyous film to, to work on. All the actors are such lovely people, and Wes is such an intelligent director. He's visually geni a genius, but also is able to give such fantastic direction, and I was e really able to lean on him and the cast, so it's, the, it's my best experience so far. It's pretty surreal. It's pretty nuts. I mean, they've like really shut down the whole street. Um, it's very, very cool, and, and I'm just I'm really excited for people to see this movie that like has been living in all of our heads for so long. Weta has done such an amazing job of of perfectly capturing our performances in in these apes. You know that like Noah is me, and when I watch him, I see myself. Um, and even when I just look at a picture of him, I see myself, also because I, I do kind of look like him. Um, everything that we were, that we were developing in, in Ape School was in service of who we were playing, which is why when you watch the movie, you know, every single one of us has a slightly different way of moving, a slightly different way of, of standing and behaving. Um, so it was a really specific process that, that, you know, we found through improvisation with each other and, and through, you know, thinking about who these characters were on the inside. Yeah, you know, it's kind of unbelievable. Um, it's a long time coming, um, you know, with the ape training that kind of got us to the place where we were ready for the camera. And then you go to camera and we shot for six months. And then there was a whole year after that um, just waiting to see what magic, you know, Wes and Weta were going to bring uh, to the project. And I knew it was going to be magnific uh, magnificent, but when I saw it last week, I, you know, my eyes watered up. And I, I, I have to say, um, in French, we say, j'ai eu des frissons, des frissons. I had chili bumps everywhere. I was just um, really overwhelmed by how beautiful every frame is and, and how the detail uh is so the minutia is so incredible that you could act, i could actually see all my friends up on screen in their ape form but it it's exactly like them and their performances so it's really a beautiful thing to get to see that kind of wizardry in action um i was doing adr and uh wes said you know what why don't you watch the scene before we start doing adr on it and uh all of a sudden, Proxus Miss came onto the screen, and I froze. And my eyes watered up, and I was just like, "Oh my God!" Like I've been working my whole career trying to really hone my craft to because I love disappearing in characters. It's my favorite thing, and um, this one I really got to disappear. Like I see the mannerisms I created for him, and I see all the idiosyncratic behavior. But I see this giant, powerful, supremely intelligent ape that uh, that's ready to lead the world in a new direction. It was absolutely necessary and brilliant. We had like six weeks of training of ape school in which we like dissected uh, ape anatomy and like the differences between human anatomy and learned how to become physically apes and then learning how to speak and learning how to answer questions. And then we did a lot of improv and we're together. Um, and so that informed by the time we started shooting, throw anything at us and we're ready to go. I'm like an audience member. Like I saw it the first time uh, last week. I, I, I did some ADR and some post stuff and you see it and I, it, it's, it's, it's like magic. I'm just like, I can't believe that they did this. And I'm, I feel like a little a kid watching this. It's, it was really like magic. Um, and you know, hats off to Weta FX and, and the post-production team for three-dimensionalizing and making a talking orangutan believable. Well, it does take a long time to make these films. Uh, I, I was doing this last year and um, most actors have this moment, you get called in to do looping or ADR and you think, wow, you've been working on this all this time? Because the actors have gone on to do other projects and everything. Um, but it's astounding. It was astounding on the set. The, the sets were just stunning. It was, you know, whether you like these movies or not, it's the best and the brightest doing the best they've ever done. They've moved the technology forward. Um, and the guys that 
were in this film. They went to ape camp, you've heard about it, for two, two months, and they were stunning. I was only on the thing for about a week, but um, it's filmmaking at its highest level. It really is. Well, I was a bit a Twitter. I saw the first one. I saw the first one in theaters, and um, I'm proud to be a part of this. Um, I love these big films. I can't wait to see it. I've not seen it. I did a little bit of looping, and uh, so that's all I've seen. It's been a five-year journey for me, so it's been a long time coming, but uh, we're excited to show people, show the world the movie. A lot of people worked really hard on this thing. It's a big labor of love, and uh, we really hope people enjoy getting back to the world of the Planet of the Apes. Yeah, it's obviously a, uh, a gigantic VFX movie, so with that comes a lot of performance capture and technology and odd things that look really silly when you're shooting it, but, uh, you know, we shoot in real locations to keep everything looking real. And we have the best visual effects company in the world, in Weta, to uh, convert all these amazing performances by our actors into these incredible apes that you see on screen. In a way, it's, um, I think it'll be very familiar to the fans of the, of the recent movies, of the last Siege of Trilogy, but it's also going to be a fan of people who grew up on the 68 movie. And it's also, I hope, we really hope, that it's going to invite a whole new set of fans into this movie. You know, this thing was made with um, to kind of stand on its own, but still be kind of, you know, a part of that family of this nine movies before us and this it's awesome universe. So, um, fingers crossed. Honestly, I haven't even taken it in in this moment. I'm looking around. Oh, yeah, look, like that's me. <laughs> I just saw that. Um, awesome. uh, yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's amazing to be in such an iconic place with so many amazing humans and this film was a joy. It's not always that you get to work with a crew and a cast that, that really feel like family. So uh, for me, uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. I'm happy to play and what a beautiful day. The experience of doing the mo capture, getting to uh, work with Andy Circus, and he was helping us with finding the, the movement and the physicality of it, the voices. It was uh, like one of, the, one of the experiences as an actor I've enjoyed the most. Um, yeah, absolute joy. Well, it's very exciting. Uh, it's also a bit of a relief because all the work that's gone into it, um, uh, that it's great that it's finally here, you know. Four um, years in the making. Four years, yeah. Well, and for us, uh, going back to the truth is 2006 when we pitched Rise to the studio. So it's kind of a crazy journey, but it's very exciting for us to, to be here and also to get it to have the movie sent out into the world and see how people respond to it. You share it with everybody. It's a huge thrill. It's a, it's a ride and it's, a, it's an adventure, but it's also a character piece and it's very emotional as well, which we're really proud of. Yeah, uh, great new characters. Um, uh, also, though, there is kind of Caesar's legacy bleeds into this film, so I think those audiences that know the first three films are going to really like that, too. I'm, really I'm glad so happy you asked that, that question yeah. because Weta are the wizards that make all of this possible. None of it's possible without them. And from when we were lucky enough to to start working with them in 2009, uh, nine, yeah. right before Rise, and they keep getting more brilliant at what they no, do and blowing us, blowing our minds. It's, it is, it is incredible. It's like the culmination of almost five years of work. Uh, it's, it was the most amazing cast and crew I've ever worked with. And so being here tonight is really like, it's like partly a relief that like the process is done, but sad because now we, you know, who knows when we'll all work together again. It's a, it's really, it's been, it's unbelievable. And the, and the, the studio has been so supportive of the movie. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing what they've done for the movie. So, uh, it's, it's been, it's been an amazing, an amazing ride. It has been such a long journey, and I think all of us on the on the movie have just been so excited to share this with the audience. And the energy here tonight is fantastic. Obviously, there's a lot of people involved with the movie are here, and they're excited to see it and excited to share it. And the crowd so far has been fantastic. You know, I, I thought that this movie couldn't get any bigger when I've been driving around the town and hearing from friends across the country and across the world with all of the outdoor and all the gorgeous posters and all of the uh, amazing things that the company's been doing. But uh, when I showed up here, 
like the scale and the scope of this premiere is world class. It's really one of the most exciting nights uh, I've seen in Hollywood in a long time. This movie is the next step in the evolution of how we tell this story, going deeper into ape culture, uh, creating a fuller world, showing some amazing visuals, but also showing this transition as we go forward to a new set of, uh, of apes that we're going to be following. This is my, let's see, fourth film with Wes. And, you know, when you have a collaboration like that, you don't traditionally start normally when we would start. We start so much earlier. I mean, I'll, I'll just start with Wes when he's just getting kind of some general ideas about the film even before he's really gone deep into it. So it's been a long journey. I mean, it's been and a, a, a film like this, which is really interesting. It's so, you know, it's very visual effects heavy. So kind of from where you start with the storyboards all the way to where you end up is, is truly a journey. We try to, you know, tip our cap to a lot of the influences from the previous, uh, fran you know, the previous entries into the franchise, but at the same time take it to a new direction. And so it's, it's really, when you work on these big franchise films, you really are kind of a steward of the project and it's yours while you have it and you take advantage of it and then you try to move it on and, and someone else will eventually take this. These franchises live forever. Well, what I've found, like, over the years, I've realized is, like, the Apes fans are pretty fanatical. So I think it's been a long time from the last movie to this movie, and I think I will be really interested to see how they feel about it. It's a slightly different tone. It's a different kind of scope of movie. It's like things are, you know, we're, yeah, we're in a radically different part of the world or time-wise. And I just think, like, the sort of see how they kind of react to, like, you know, well, the new the newness of it all. I kind of like it. I'm hoping that they are as happy about it as I am. You know, I'm happy. It's like there's an electricity running in me right now. I mean, like, that was so amazing to, like, finally see it. And I just landed in L.A. a couple of days ago. And so, like, the billboards everywhere and, like, the horses on the beach, it's just insane what they're doing and like even this i'm like whoa and also seeing all the cast members again we like are such a little family so it's really special to be like oh my god my apes are back so. it's so lovely to be able to represent so many people who's had a little hand in the pie you know so it's a charm i'd say we've been working on this for what a year and a half two years something yeah, like yeah. that so i mean yeah i mean this is this is what it's all been boiling down to we're just thrilled to be here it's yeah. this is cool great to see everyone out here and enjoying seeing the people come through and yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing the film you've got a very fun adventure story to look forward to i think this is a, this is taking like a different turn from the previous trilogy i think we're looking at a very fun exciting romp through uh, a, 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 a future of this planet that we we haven't seen yet which is really good. Yeah, it's great. There's a lot more dialogue in this, so yeah, you should be able to relate to the characters a lot more. It's gonna be a great new adventure. Yeah. It's a long time coming. The energy is big, like the film, I think. Everybody seems so excited and the fans all seem so excited. So it's just, it's amazing to finally be here. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's been such a dream come true. It's just from audition to filming to post-production it's all been such a dream you know it's just such a wonderful cast such a wonderful crew such a wonderful franchise so just feeling so lucky to be involved and so so excited to finally be here and get to share kingdom of the planet of the apes with the world i think it's i think just the epicness of the landscape and the world the world is just so big and beautiful in this west is just such a visual genius um, I think what's amazing about it is it's a new era, you know, it's just a great new kind of dive into this franchise. But I think what they've done so well is really honour what fans have fallen in love with, with the last trilogy and with the history of apes, you know. So whether you're a new fan or you're an old fan coming back, there's something in it for everybody. It's great because um, we shot this about, uh, I think, a year and a half ago. So it's been good to... To be in America, it's my first time in America, and I'm just really excited to, yeah, to show what we created, what the team has created. I'm most excited for, for them to just experience the world of Planet of the Apes again, you know, whether if you're the fan of the original, you know, the 60s version and the, the Andy Serkis version, and, and yeah, it really combines the two worlds, and for and the world building Wes has made is just, yeah, it's just unbelievable. So I'm excited for them to see the world that we've created. That, that's the, I was excited by that, because I was like, wait a minute, this is 
familiar territory, but it's reclaimed by the earth. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really excited by that.